Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a quadratic equation with complex numbers. We have x squared plus 2x equals 2 plus 4i, where i is one of the square roots of negative 1. So I'll be presenting two methods, and let's start with the first one. So for my first method, since this is quadratic, I'm going to collect everything on the same side and then use the quadratic formula. Let's see how that works. x squared plus 2x, and then I'm going to subtract 2 plus 4i. Let's go ahead and subtract the whole thing as an entity, like this, and set it equal to 0. Notice that in this equation, negative, the negative of 2 plus 4i is our constant term. Because i is a constant, right? Even though it's imaginary, complex, whatever, it's a constant. It's not a variable. So we can use the quadratic formula since this is quadratic. x equals, and that's going to give us the following. Remember the quadratic formula. If you have ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, then x is given by negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 4, minus 4 times a1, which is uh, not going to matter here, We're not, we don't need to write it, times c. C, is, uh, c has a negative sign, so the double negative is going to make it a positive, and we can just multiply 2 plus 4i by 4, and then divide the whole thing by 2a, which is 2. So let's go ahead and simplify this expression and see what we get from here. So, how do you simplify inside the radical? Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to multiply, distribute, and simplify. 4 plus 4 times 2 is going to be 8, and then 4 times 4i is going to be 16i, and then just we're going to divide it by 2. Now, if you combine like terms inside the radical, you're going to get 12 plus 16i. And all of that is divided by 2. Awesome. Now, here's the most important part. How do you square root 12 plus 16i? That's just going to be another problem in and of itself. But if you kind of think about it, there's a couple different ways to go about it. You can set it equal to, so if you're trying to square root this number, First of all, notice that you can factor out a 2, which is, I mean, not a 2, a 4, which will come out as a 2. So it's going to be like this. Let me take out a 4 here, and then I'll show my work. And then if you take out the 4, it's going to be a 2. So we're just going to square root 3 plus 4i. How do you square root 3 plus 4i, right? Okay. Here's what you can do to do is simplify it. You can set this equal to, you can set this equal to a plus bi, and then square both sides, and then that's going to give you a squared plus b squared i squared, that's just going to be a negative b squared, plus 2abi. Here, we have to set the coefficients or real parts to real parts and imaginary parts to imaginary parts. So it's going to be like this, a squared minus b squared is going to be a 3, and 2ab is going to be a 4, which means ab is 2. So a squared minus b squared is 3, and ab is 2. So kind of think about two numbers whose product is 2 and whose difference of squares is 3. And I'm hoping that you can easily find that those numbers are 2 and 1. And of course, negative 2 and negative 1 is also going to work. But we already know that if we can find one of the square roots, then the other one is going to be fairly easy. So a plus bi from here becomes... 2 plus i. You could also arrive at the same answer by manipulating 3 plus 4i. You could kind of write it like 4 minus 1 plus 4i, and then write the 4 as 2 squared, and then write the negative 1 as i squared, and then write this as 2 times 2 times i. And then you can kind of make it a perfect square, right? Okay, there's a couple different ways to go about it. Since this is a nice one, you can easily find it. But what if I told you, okay, can you find the square root of 7 plus 5i? It's not going to be that straightforward. Then you have to solve this equation. Okay, great. So 
there's obviously a general method as well as a formula which we can probably talk about and maybe I can share that in a post because that's really cool anyways so we got one of the square roots which is 2 plus i so we can go ahead and plug it in here negative 2 plus minus 2 plus i that was the square root right all over 2 and obviously we can go ahead and combine this but notice that I'm gonna clean up the the bottom so I can continue here we can go ahead and square root it I mean not square root it let's just combine them but there's a plus minus sign so we're gonna consider two cases because we have two solutions right this equation is quadratic and it has two solutions so one of them is gonna be x equals negative 2 plus 2 plus i divided by 2 negative 2 and 2 is gonna cancel out we're gonna get half of i okay oops I forgot one thing I just realized uh, there was a 2 in front of the radical, so I need to write that as well. So let's go ahead and see if I can do this real quick. I want to move this a little bit to the left, to the right, I mean, and then fit the, uh, what is it called, the 2 in there. Here you go. So x is going to be negative 2 plus minus. I should probably just keep the uh, 2 inside. Anyways, so if you go with the positive solution, Okay, let me write it. This didn't look good. So x can be written as, okay, let's just go with the positive first. Negative 2 plus 2 times 2 plus i divided by 2. That's going to be negative 2 plus 4. That's going to be at 2 plus 2i divided by 2, which is going to be 1 plus i. And the other solution is going to be negative 2 minus 2 times 2 plus i. Make sure to keep the minus outside the parentheses so you can distribute it. That's going to give us a negative 2 minus 2, negative 4 minus 2i divided by 2, and that is going to be negative 2 minus i. So there are two solutions, and these should be the solutions. Okay? All right. Cool. Now, uh, what do we do next, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what we have uh, next. Negative, let, me, let me check something real quick. Negative 2 minus 4. Oh, that's going to be a negative 6. Never mind. I'm like, what is going on here? Okay, this should be a negative 6, and then this should be a negative 3. Okay, that's what's supposed to be. Okay, cool. So that's what I have, two solutions. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method real quick. Second method basically depends on completing the square, which is also something that can be used to prove uh, the quadratic formula, but it kind of looks different. So we have this. And then add 1 to both sides. And then write the left-hand side as x plus 1 squared equals 3 plus 4i. And from here, you square root x plus 1 squared and 3 plus 4i. You're going to get s x plus 1 is 2 plus i, or x plus 1 is negative 2 minus i. This gives us x equals 1 plus i, and this gives us x equals negative 3 minus i as before. So now you can go ahead and check it, uh, check it out, like plug it in and verify the solutions. And this brings us to the end of this video. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.